Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 95 of our Trapped MC Prison series, where we are on a journey to 100k subs. We're almost at 5,000, guys. We are almost there, all right? I'm just saying, we're at 4906. Uh, did I go to P1 or P5? I don't even know. Well, I went to P. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, I, I did not go P in real life. I went to P in Minecraft. All right, what a start to this video, guys. I've had three cups of coffee today. We are wired, absolutely wired. It's going to be insane today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm excited to share this video with you guys. If you have not considered becoming a, a channel member of this channel, you can, you can have the opportunity to do so. First link in the description for more information. Be sure to check it out. I'd really appreciate it. We are currently at five channel members looking to get to eight channel members uh, very soon. That's our goal. It's been our goal since the beginning of like three months ago. And we have gotten up to five channel members. And I'm so pumped to be here with you guys today. I'm feeling good. I've made quite a few videos today on my other channel, personal finance related. It's been good really good stuff and the coffee is definitely helping the energy levels I i'm wired guys okay i'm not gonna lie it's three in the afternoon i'm wired okay it it's crazy but um guys we're mining today you know we got we got uh, a p10 trying to hit p10 uh maybe by episode 100 we'll get there we, we shall see we shall see um but we'll find out soon enough Hopefully you guys are doing well. I'm just excited to be able to make videos, guys. It's really, really cool. Uh, the concept is great. I'm really trying to get ahead with, with YouTube, trying to be able to make some money from YouTube, you know? Uh, we're making like 45 bucks a month right now. Pretty solid. Um, trying to get that other channel monetized as well. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, things are going really well. I'm not going to lie. They are. Uh, one thing, this is so random, like has nothing to do with, with anything that I've been talking about recently, but when, when you guys are barefoot, do you guys ever just like, like space your toes out? Like, like, do you ever like flex your toes to try to get the, the spacing back to normal? Cause you guys know like how our shoes, like they compress our feet and our toes a little bit, which is not healthy. Our feet should be more spread out, more, more wide in width, you know? Like, I've been flexing my, my feet recently. Like, that sounds really weird, but, like, it's true. Like, I'm trying to get the blood flow, trying to get the, um, the maximum spacing between my toes just because it's healthy. Uh, I've also been uh, using rubber bands to, like, increase my flexors, like, my tendons and my fingers. Uh, just trying to get stronger hands and feet, along with my blood flow to my hands and feet is, like kind of weak because my hands and feet always get super cold in the winter time and winter is right around the corner right so we're trying to get my my limbs prepared for these winter months by becoming more blood flowy to the the hands and feet so this is the most random topic i think you guys have probably ever heard but hopefully you enjoyed that little segment of bumpy talking about hands and feet blood flow flexing toes i mean what what the heck am i talking about i don't even know but uh, i'm just really grateful today guys uh to be playing on this server i'm grateful to be you know recording videos i'm just really grateful today and i want to thank my lord and savior jesus christ for this opportunity to make a video today and i haven't really talked about jesus in a while um like in these videos and i just wanted to today i wanted to you know follow jesus up behind toes and hands you know that that's just really funny i think so but yeah guys for those of you who don't know if you've been watching my channel for a while you definitely do know that i am a believer in jesus christ as my lord and savior of my life uh, i read the bible um i'm trying to read it more consistently i go to church i am a christian uh, christianity is uh, it, it's you know just my, my relationship with jesus is the most important thing in my life and for those of you who don't know that, it's important that you do because it is how I live my life. It's how I make these videos. And um, I try to be positive in my videos. I try not to cuss. You know, I try to live a life that glorifies God. And I'm just really proud to be a Christian. I'm really proud to have Jesus and know Jesus in my life. And uh, yeah, it's just really cool. So I just wanted to take some, some time to talk about this because it is the most important thing in my life. And those of you who watch me ought to know the most important thing in my life. So, yeah, really cool stuff. So grateful. And being grateful is just 
so cool because it's I'm able to express the gratitude I have for life opportunities that I have with YouTube and and my job and career and just the weather just from, from small things to big things like just so grateful for it all and this opportunity to live this life and to share the good news of Jesus Christ it's it's a great thing so yeah um I just thought I'd bring that up because I haven't said it in a while in this series, but I thought I ought to because it is important. And yeah, so if you guys have any questions about any of that, if you guys have any questions regarding Christianity, like shoot me a DM, you know, send me a message, look it up on YouTube, Google, explore more. You know, like I'm not saying Google is the best place to, to find that stuff out. I'm, the best place to find out and learn more about God is the Bible. You know, but I'm saying if you're interested in learning more, the whole point why I mentioned Google in the first place is because, you know, there's resources out there. And I'm telling you right now, the best resource is the Bible. But if you're curious about Christianity, if you're curious about this stuff, do some research, you know, ask those questions and, you know, explore it. Um, it's better to do that than to just sit and do nothing about it, because I can tell you, this is the most important thing in your life is a relationship with Jesus. And whether you agree or disagree with me on that, I'm telling you, it is the truth. I, it is the truth. And we can agree to disagree on that, but it is my truth. It is the truth. And it will forever be the truth. And yeah, so I encourage you to at least explore Christianity, at least explore our relationship with Jesus. If you don't know who Jesus is, I would love to have that opportunity to, to share who Jesus is with you. Um, I've, I've done it many times uh, in, in previous videos. If you've seen those videos and, and stuff like that, I've, I've explained who Jesus is, and it's just really cool. The, the story of Jesus. We need Jesus, and yeah, it's just super, super cool. And I would love to go into more detail about this. Uh, I just don't feel that right now is the time for me to go. I, I'm in a bit of a time crunch that today, but I will make another video. Um, maybe for episode 100, possibly, about the story of Jesus and just the good news of, of, of who Jesus is and what he did for us. I might do that for episode 100. That would be really cool. Um, and if you guys aren't interested in Jesus or if you don't want to watch that stuff, that's the beauty of YouTube. You, you can click away anytime. But I encourage you to at least hear me out, at least learn more and understand what Jesus did for us. And what, you know, his word says, I encourage you to read the Bible. I encourage you to start with the book of John or the book of Mark in the New Testament of the Bible. If you're curious about who Jesus is and what he did and the miracles he performed and the people he, he performed the miracles on and just his overall purpose of coming to this earth. Such a cool, I mean, Jesus is a cool dude, man. He, he did the ultimate, he paid the ultimate price for for what we we do each and every day, which is sin. We sin and we separate ourselves from God and we, we do all these things that are that, that God tells us not to do and Jesus shed his own blood so that we could be so that we could have the opportunity to, to go to heaven even though we did not follow and continue to not follow what God tells us to do each and every day. We are all we all fall short of, of who God wants us to be and you know what jesus did he allows us to reconnect with god and still have that opportunity to spend eternity with god even though we fell short each and every one of us except for jesus so that's that's a basic summary there's so much more to it but at the end of the day if you want to know the basics that was the basics and if you want to know one practical thing you can do today to to take action I tell you right now just take some time to pray and talk to God and say God I declare Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior of my life and I pray to you that you give me the Holy Spirit, 
And I pray that you continue to work in my life and, and continue to show me that there is a way of living that glorifies you. And I pray for each and every one of you that, that you take some time, just 30 seconds of your time to a minute of your time. Just talk to God. Do what I just did. Like, close your eyes and just confess that Jesus is the center of your life. That's the one actionable step I can give you if you are a new Christian or if you're wanting to become a Christian or if you just want to know Jesus. I encourage you to, to do that. So yeah. It's pretty cool. It will change your life. I can guarantee you that. With that being said, guys, it's going to wrap it up for this video. I know this was a deep conversation. I know this was different than other videos that I've made where I don't, I don't talk about deep stuff like this, but it's necessary that I do. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to wrap up this video. Please take action. Take that first step. Talk to God. Confess Jesus as the Lord of your life and truly mean it. What's the worst that could happen by you confessing Jesus as the Lord of your life? What's the worst that could happen? Think about that. What if you're wrong and Jesus is not the Lord of your life and that Jesus is a myth? What's the worst that could happen? But think about what's the best that could happen if you do that. What's the best thing that could happen if you take some time and confess Jesus as the center of your life and you want to live more like him and truly mean it? If you truly mean that and you confess that Jesus is your, the Lord and Savior of your life and you are submitting yourself to God, what's the worst that could happen? And what's the best that could happen? Think about that. Have a beautiful day. I'll be praying for all of you. I pray for all of you that you take this first step. Guys, have a beautiful day. Take care. Peace.